hit forward. No baby Gary Cleave. Tocca Madeira, Manila Barla, the local. It's electric, our visitor. And uh, thank you, next out wide. So here we go, first of the day. Good luck if you're joining us. Should be a great afternoon of grace. We're set, we're ready. Lua rolls round. First heat of the railway. And away we go, getting away out wide there would have been Selectric and underneath there we go to Manila Bala Handy, that's followed back there by Toka Madeira, a length or two back underneath is Captain Kev, bit of a squeeze up there, getting a shuffle, Manila Bala in front of that runner there was Captain Kev getting into it and fantastic, uh, Amy got knocked out of the race as well but up they come, Selectric in, then we go No Baby, followed back here Toka Madeira, this has been rough for thank you, next followed inside here by Big Time Pluto and he saw that then. Uh, back there would have been Captain Kevin towards the tail of the field. Thank you. Next was back there. And Manila Bala. What happened to it? Uh, going off for the top there was right to, to make the play there. And just got dragged down from behind, I think, by the stripes. Uh, but in the meantime, the six will kick away. So you're favoured in the first. The six, the seven, the two, and the eight. 18 and 27. So the track tipped off, Nick. Uh, nine and a quarter by a half length uh, there the margin made uh, to look good there uh, with that problem in behind but the time really does tell the story 18 and 27 uh, home in 13 and 71 uh, in our first of the day uh, just have a look at the replay here and just see what does happen uh, Manila Bala out nicely there's our Selectric out wide is still there into the bend uh, Toka Madeira down on the inside just keeping an eye on Manila Bala here just to went uh, to the inside there and just got dragged down I think there by the stripes in the meantime Selectric Classic, 35 starts, 50 wins for a column win uh, by Sulzanti from Dixie Trick. Uh, scores well here. Ended up a second favourite, so I think, in behind uh, Captain Kev. Second one in was to the seven, no baby, Gary Cleave, the stripes, uh, Toka Madeira, and the eight, and thank you. Next, 18 and 27. Great old time here, Philip. We'll get those second times for you in a moment or two. A uh, 4.56, 13, 71 home. Uh, second favourite, scores nicely. Race number one. Certainly does. Pete select track. She did everything right going to the front. She'll pay 310, 130. No baby. An upset with that trouble for the play 720. And the two, Toka Madeira, 170. Quinella, 4350. Trifecta will pay 18970. And the first four, 6728, $1,485.70. So, Nicole, of course, Callum Weary knows how to win this race with Swimming Goat in the past and his qualified select track into the railway final. He sure has Selectric there for Callum Weir, a hat-trick of wins for this runner and closed as the second favourite on the tote behind Captain Kev delivers a win by a big margin. Good to hear the track playing really well as well. 18.27, the winning time for the first of the day. They're the first of our Group 1 Railway Heats. Back for the second, and this one here, we can see the market. Seve, Philippa Morris's best for the day, goes around here at $2.20 the book. $4 for Opawa Oscar on option 922, their second favourite, and four fifty for Suspicious Minds. Just the one other runner in single figures there, Ashen, out of box number two at $7.00. So we'll be back for that one, a start time of 1.49 there, the second of our heats for the Group 1 Railway. In the meantime, we are five minutes away from the third race coming out of the meeting code of six. It's the Wairoa Gallops today, the Course and Grain Maiden 1500 metre event. So we'll take this opportunity to have a look at what this market is up to, the favourite and is, is having start number four today for trainer Mike Breslin, Rosie Myers aboard Dijol is drifting in the market. You can see on option 623 now at $2.15. Did open up a lot shorter at $3. Just the three runs, a three-year-old gelding by Rubik and he's finished second on debut. He was then placed third at his second start and most recently on the first day over the 1,400 metres did finish second and did have Jonathan Parks riding on that occasion. So Rosie Myers takes the ride today, the second day here at Wairua aboard Dijon there. And we take a look at these runners as they do make their prelims out to the start here. Second favourite, and that is with Hit the Road Jack. This one really did catch my eye on the first day. A son of Jackalbury, Craig and Sean Phelan prepare. And Ellen Nichols, great to see her getting a win on the first day as well aboard Big Mike. And the three-year-old son of Jackalbury out of an Istadad, Mia Isti star, and was making up good ground there over the 1,400 metres when finishing fourth on the first day. Does have barrier four today in that claim. Another assist there with Ellen Nichols. Um, taking the four kilos off.
On screen there, going out to the start, one of the Team Rogerson runners, that is Castle Black. They do have the two runners in this race, actually the three runners as I look, Castle Black, also the